Hey guys, so currently on the table I have is the Alpinist, and man, what a stunner. The green colored dial with the golden indicators and markers is a great combination in my opinion. I'm not going to go over much of the specs as it has been done much better several times. Instead, I'll give you the opinion. The sunburst dial opens up during the day and the cathedral hour hands is a delight when checking the time. The added feature of the compass ring is an add-on which I will never use, but it gives the watch a well-defined character and distinguishes itself from the other Seiko pack. One of the downsides of this watch is not the watch itself, but a strap, which is a bummer. It is not good and will not settle in during the long run. It is thick and feels like soft plastic to the touch. I suggest changing it out for something else or even using it with the marine or regular NATO strap, which I usually do. If you are feeling fancy, you could replace the strap with the Rolex Jubilee or any other branded alternatives. The anti-reflective coating is quite good for those bright outdoor events. The lug to lug, which is crucial for fitting, is 46 millimeters and can be worn comfortably on my 6.7 inch wrist. As usual, it takes me way longer to put on these watches on camera, which is made worse by the unpopular strap. What can I say? First world problems. The build could be better. As the compass ring is not as tight as I would like but the watch itself does feel like it could take a hit or two on a door and still survive. I haven't tried it myself and I do not recommend you do either unless it's a G-Shock. Those things are made to be tough. Now, time for the loom. And as expected, the hands stand out. If you get to see it, the cathedral hand lights up in the dark. It is bright blue and lasts a long time. Even though on the camera, the white balance shows you as green, but it is blue. What can I say? Seiko may get a hit, and this one is a keeper except for the strap. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want the specs. And as always, I hope this helped.